Hey, what's up everyone? How you doing? It's me, Mr. 4K Hopscaler. So, for those of you who have GeForce Now and are subscribed to 4080 RTX membership, which is called the Ultimate Membership, um, and you are using NVIDIA Shield, which I have right over here, NVIDIA Shield Pro, which gives you obviously a 4K and HDR, where HDR it's available depending on uh, the game. Um, for the most part, they all support HDR, but there are certain games that they don't. Uh, this particular game doesn't support HDR, uh, but there's a bunch of other games that do support HDR. But that's not the reason I'm making this video. The reason I'm making this video is I want to show you some tips on how to access your NVIDIA Shield user interface for GeForce Now so you can check your frames, you can look at your uh, frames in the game, frames in the stream. Frames in the game are obviously that are coming in from that source. And then the frames on the stream are the ones that you are able to utilize depending on what type of television you have. Now on this one here, this television is a old E8 uh, OLED TV from 2018. And Still works great, no burn in as you can see. <laughs> All those naysayers, you know, saying, oh, it's gonna get a burn in. Well, here I am. After all these years and since 2018 and still no burn in, no retention. Uh, but we're not gonna talk about that. That's a whole different subject. So how do you get this info? How do you do that? How do you also get this little user interface over here where you can use the mouse and the keyboard all with your controller and you can use any controller you can use your PlayStation 5 controller you can use your Xbox controller but for the purpose of this video we're gonna use the Xbox Series X controller So the first thing you want to do is, once you have your Xbox Series X controller connected to the back of the uh, NVIDIA Shield Pro, right here in the back, you press and hold the three line button right here, and you hold it for about a few seconds and then you'll see this little user interface will show up shows you that you're using a Steam game on the Steam platform and then here you'll see you got your keyboard so you can access your keyboard if you want and the keyboard will show up and you can just go ahead and type in on the keyboard if there's something you need to type in right whatever the case might be and then you get your microphone you can mute your microphone if somebody walks inside a room or whatever the case might be you can turn it off and on and then here where you see those three dots those three dots going vertically you click on them those are your options from there you can choose if you want to select a uh, controller only or just disable it and use it as the mouse so you see right over here on, on the right side at the bottom it says the mouse so on the right bottom now you can use a right thumbstick you can use a right thumbstick to control the uh, the mouse and there it is you'll see it See how I'm scrolling it with the mouse to my right thumbstick. You see it across the sky. I don't know how well do you guys see it, but I'll bring it a little bit closer. There's the mouse. I'm circling it left and right with my right thumbstick. So if you want to go back to your controller only, you just click enable multi-controller and it will enable it 
Now down here you got change physical keyboard layout, which you can do that. Uh, and choose how you want it, English or a different language. You know. And then you can go back to your uh, three dot settings again. Click on it and go to the statistics. Now statistics is where you get to see on your top right corner what type of graphics cards you're using, what type of frames that you got on the game and on the stream. And it's pretty useful to use it. I use it all the time. Uh, it just gives you a better understanding on how many frames you're running these games. So that way you got some good idea. You can look at your ping and you can look at uh, which uh, data center you're at, your southeast. And uh, right here it tells you it's a GeForce RTX 4080. Um, I don't know, I just felt like these tips uh, could be useful for some of you who are just starting to use a Nvidia Shield and GeForce now and I figured I'll let you know about this. I think these tips are pretty useful. Something that you can do with your controller. All with this. You could be in your bedroom like I am right now. You can lay on your bed and you can play uh, Alaskan Road Truckers. And you don't have to wait for the console version on July. And keep in mind you're playing with the best possible specs. You're playing with the RTX 4080. That's something that your PlayStation 5 is not going to be able to bring you this level of detail and clarity. So, uh, anyway, I hope this video helps you guys out. For those of you who are interested in GeForce Now. And um, that's all I have for today. Thank you guys. Cheers.